Uh, today I'm gonna open up the pool again. Uh, I'm also gonna mow the lawn because it's been raining and my lawn is, it's hit. I haven't done it for about a week. Um, but yeah, I pretty much got the leaves out of it. Taking the, taking this cover off. This cover's bad. Got holes in it. And uh, this one's gonna be a scrap. So, once I go ahead and I get this cover off, um, I'll bring all the stuff up and hook it up. And then I'll just show you uh, what I do exactly right after I get it hooked up. And I'm not gonna show you me hooking it up. Of course, you guys know exactly how they get hooked up. So, uh, all right, let me start mowing this yard. This mower that I got, um, it's a real game changer. This thing is the uh, Husqvarna, I don't even know the part number, but this thing is battery operated. See the batteries on it? And uh, there's no more messing with gas or nothing anymore. My other mower always had a little bit of an issue like the first uh, start of the year, but this one here, I'm just gonna charge up and go. That's it. Nothing special. Maybe I'll cover a little more in another video. I've only used it for about a month now, and uh, and so far it's doing pretty good. I can do this whole yard with one battery, and um, and uh, that's it. Let's get this thing going. Again, uh, it's the exact same thing it was, and uh, now let me set up everything and see if I can get this back to normal again.
vacuum in it because I'm going to let it do its thing while it's running. Now, the inlet, this connects right to the inlet. And then uh, I gotta stick my hand in this thing. Stick right on it. This water is about 40 degrees. It's like May 23rd right now, 2020. And uh, we've had a pretty mild spring. It's been like 80 today. Uh, pole salt to it. Um, this is just Clorox pole salt here. Yeah, I get this. I think it was at Walmart for like seven bucks or something. Alright, also this year I'm gonna try putting this uh this pool shock in it. Came with the sea salt. And try to see if this uh this makes it run better. See if I get a quicker result out of this. And that's about it. I can just wait.
Well, it was storming for a few days, um, so I wasn't able to get any footage immediately afterwards. So this is the first like halfway decent day, and it's coming up pretty good. So a um, couple little things keep flying in here. But it's coming up pretty nice. It's got a little cloudiness to it, but I almost think it's because of that shock I put in. And I ended up, because there was so much water, I'd end up adding six bags total of salt because I was actually treating all the snow and rainwater that was added into it. Plus there was a ton of crap in the bottom of it because the uh, cover failed halfway in the middle of the winter. So it's, it's once it got a hole in it, everything went right to the bottom. And I was just fighting getting that out of there. Um, but today the water is actually halfway decent warm. Uh, the weather here has been real crappy. But hey, that's it. I mean, you can't beat the system. A clean account. Pretty nice. And uh yeah, I mean you just you can't beat it and it'll be like this for the rest of the year. I won't do nothing but just keep it on. So if you're thinking about getting uh getting a saltwater system, just follow exactly what I was doing and you'll be completely happy with it. So I'll see you at the next video. And uh, I'll probably shoot a little bit of footage of uh, like everything else I've been doing or anything I was doing. I'll catch you on the next video. And uh, please don't forget to share this video and click like. Even make a comment if you have any questions. You ask it down in the comment section and I'll answer it as quick as I can. And, uh, and uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. So, I'll talk to you later.